Where's the blankets for her? Brad. One. Analyzing heart rhythm. Two. So do not touch the base. We're analyzing heart rhythm. Um, like that? Yeah. Whatever this tells you to do. Okay, sock advice. Stand clear back up, please. Continue for 30 seconds. Who's your partner? Oh, that one. Okay, you'd be in two, right? So say you're his partner, okay, you're, you're, you're getting ready to help him in any way, shape, or form. Okay, guys. Okay. No. So, thank you very much, guys. I don't want to, I don't want to. Um, this has been absolutely Start fabulous. It's been an incredible learning experience for us. There's so many things that we are going to take back out of this. And I was just speaking with uh, Carly and Aaron. And, and that's right. Um, that this is something that we're now with as well. This is something that we think we would like to do once a year at least, right? And it's, it's good. It's a little bit different for you guys. Um, for us, it's huge because we've never had to do a rescue in any kind of situation like this. Robin! No. Robin! Lauren? Okay. Lauren? Paul? Okay. Are you good? Okay. So, thank you very much, guys. Um, this has been absolutely fabulous. It's been an incredible learning experience for us. 
there's so many things that we are going to take back out of this. And I was just speaking with uh, Carly and Aaron, that's it, um, that this is something that we're now, and Rick as well, our first vice president, this is something that we think we would like to do once a year at least, right? Because it's, it's good. It's a little bit different for you guys. Um, for us, it's huge because we've never had to do a rescue in a, in a situation like this where we're working literally hand in hand with uh, a great team like you. So thank you. Um, <laughs> well done. Okay. Now, uh, a couple of quick learnings. So, from our perspective, um, on the first dive, we didn't have a rescue diver. Um, well, we fixed that pretty quick. So, this time we had two rescue divers. One was a snorkel and myself, and the other one was Will Perry, a senior instructor. So, that was good. Um, when we brought Lauren to the surface, we got her up pretty quickly, got the equipment off, pulled her up onto the deck. But once we were on the deck, had her on the deck, we forgot to de suit her. We just kind of moved straight. I, uh, <laughs> she didn't even wear her, her bathing suit top just for the occasion, but you guys missed out, so anyways. Um, so yeah, so that was just a, a minor little point there, um, and went straight to the uh, to the dummy. Um, that's all I noticed because I couldn't really observe anymore because I was part of the thing. How about from you guys? Uh, anything that anybody noticed we could do better, differently? As we spoke of earlier in a real scenario, <laughs> yeah. with Mike it wasn't an issue, yeah. but with her, if I was to cut her wetsuit open and she was brawless, yeah. two, one, you got two areas, her head and her boobs. Okay. Sorry, I don't mean to say that. One of them has to be covered. Okay. Because all you need is some tin head and up there in a cell okay. phone. Okay. And Good thing. Takes video of it. So if I'm working on her bare chest, yeah. big deal. Yeah. If somebody that's looking after her head covers her head with a towel, okay. me, I don't mean smother her. Yeah, I yeah. mean just cover it so social is, media can't get a hold of it. Okay. Is that consistent with what you cover in your training as well, or that's not a concern? Okay. A, a barrier. <laughs> okay. 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 Yes. Ah. Uh, okay. 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 Good. Okay, we've got lines that we can lower on this side, so that protects all of them. Oh, okay. If, if we were to be, if yeah. it happened to, this happened in an odd, with an audience member, but yeah. Okay, um, anybody else? Okay, Suggestions? Just like from our staffing, so we just have to watch the compression rate. So CPR is 30 compressions to two breaths. Yes. So one of the things that we can revert back to, just so we're all on the same page, is we can count that out loud. So everybody's uh, okay. on the same page, so it's part of our training protocol yeah. is that we can start counting just so we make sure so that everybody's on the same page. Yep, I know what I was saying, I was saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, out loud. Um, and then on the third, one of the third ones, I lost my count. Yeah. So <laughs> but I get, just, we hear you, yeah. Yeah, but maybe just in terms of us working together as a team, we can count that out loud. Okay. And then that way everybody knows kind of where we're at and things like yep. that. I, wa I was actually counting yeah. in my brain. I, yeah. That's no. the way I've been trained. Just go. I, yeah. and I stay alive. Yeah. Yeah. Stay okay. alive. Stay alive. Um, anything else? Eric, you were our uh, EMS. But did those guys up top, were they able to hear the horn? Yeah. Yeah? Second time around, even though it was shorter? Okay, good. Yeah, so I mean, I came down faster the second time. That's really a faster response than what's going to happen. So, obviously, ah, okay. a, a lot longer CPR. Okay. So, collectively, guys, we need to be prepared for a lot longer CPR. Yeah. And underwater, a Lauren heard, uh, did not hear the horn. Okay. Right? But you could hear the pipes underwater being okay. tapped. Yeah, so, so um, that's something that maybe you guys don't aren't aware of, uh, and the horns that you have, you're kind of assuming, well, everybody can hear that, but the reason we had to go with those pipes is because when we're under the water and sometimes uh, we have the neoprene hood, forget it, you're not hearing anything, right? So. Yeah, yeah so with the comment of it being longer CPR, I think yes. what I liked in the first scenario versus the second was the amount that you like switch. Yes. Mm. Okay. It is true. It is going to be a longer period than kind of what we're even practicing right now. Okay. Um, we've experienced with majors, and like sometimes it's just the case, but we've had a like 17 minute wait, but we've 
also had a six minute break. So you actually okay. just never know what okay. that time frame is. So just getting into the habit of like teamwork makes the dream work. I think it's that habit. We kind of go around there. So, okay. Yeah. On the other side of that, I was asked several times yeah. if I was tired. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm fine. Okay. Just yeah. keep going. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes, you had a, uh, a comment. I'm just going to speak to that. that you're communicating for you between the two of us and then my friends. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, one more time. Thank you very thank much, you. everybody. Well done. And, um, you know, so one of the things that uh, we have the police custody equipment, that's good. <coughs> now, um, in this case, both people survived. Yeah. Very happy. Um, we have, and I'm sure you have as well, you understand that when a whole bunch of people are involved in rescuing somebody, not every time does it work out as a rescue, and sometimes even the rescue itself can be, I'll use the word traumatizing, traumatizing for everybody involved, right? Because sometimes it's not pretty. So part of our uh, checklist of stuff is to make sure that even in a good case, if somebody needs support, that we would make arrangements to reach out. Um, Carly was kind enough to offer that TPOS has such a support system in place, and that in the case where we work together on a rescue, if we're successful or not, but if we sense that somebody needed support, you guys all need to know that that support is there. And don't be ashamed to admit that something's not right. Um, I was involved in a rescue 10 years ago, and I carried it with me for, for a good year. So, um, and I didn't, I did the usual, like, uh, macho thing and a no you know but that was the wrong thing to do and there wasn't any support there anyways because we hadn't really evolved as a society to that point yet right so that support is there um thank you all again guys fabulous <laughs> okay.